You're listening to Kapow, the pop culture podcast. Comics, television, movies, and more. If it impacts fan culture, we have something to say about it. And now, your hosts, Jordan, Cliff, and Seth. Hey, it's Kapow, the pop culture podcast, plus one tonight. We got a special guest in the building for a special episode. My name is Jordan Lowe. Cliff Barnes. I'm Seth. Is that Jesse Starcher's music? Ah. Champ. Champ's in the house. That's right, baby. That is right. The champ is here. The champ has returned. Jesse is a friend. Thank you all for letting me come back. I thought maybe I'd be squeezed out of this competition. Just, you know, how skyrocket to the top I did last time. Mm, wow. wow. We wow. would never squeeze the OJ the original. <laughs> Freshly squeezed OJ. We, we all won last year. Did? Because yeah. you... Uh, you you sentenced us to watch a great movie. That's right. Yes, that's right. We had a good time. We had a great time doing that. Uh, this was uh, my, so with my winnings, I was able to convince you guys to take a, a gander at the movie with Jeff. Help me out. What was it again? Daniels. <laughs> Jeff Daniels, and why do I want to call it a stitch in time? It's not that. We, no. There was a bunch of time travel. I remember that much. Mm-hmm. There's time travel involved, and it was a grand tour, if I remember correctly. Ah, uh, yeah. grand tour. There's so many names. You guys have no idea. Yeah. I could have just named off a third one you guys didn't know about. So yeah, <laughs> good movie. It was it was. So Infinite. as you can see, the stakes are high tonight. As we begin what has become an annual tradition, one of our several annual traditions that we just we sort got, of it just became an annual. Let's just keep yeah. It. Just became See, an annual many, annual tradition many, right now, like two nights. Years we can do each of these different things we add on each year until we die. So. That's right. It's time for the summer movie challenge. We are going to predict this summer's box office. Now, we may be recording this a few days after the challenge has actually begun, but we submitted lists weeks ago, so we are untainted by any actual box office results. So we are going from the start of May through Labor Day. So May 2nd through the end of August, start of September. Those are the summer months, the biggest months for movies. And we are going to try to predict which ones will make the most money, the most ticket sales, the biggest boffo box office returns you can get in those couple of months. So we're going to give us a top 10 lists and a couple of wild cards. And like I said, Jesse won last year, and we had to uh, pay off a bet and watch a movie of his choosing. So we're going to probably stick with that, and the winner will get to subject the, the other people to something they would like them to watch, and we'll all watch and talk about it. You nailed it. I'll, I'll go through the rules real quick here on how the points are scored for anyone that wants to play along at home. If you beat us, you get a grimy, limey baseball shirt. (laughs) (laughs) Um, The rules, uh, you'll pick in order your number one to number ten movies. Uh, Getting number one or number ten dead on in that spot gets you 13 points Mm. for each of those. Uh, 10 points for any numbers two through nine that you get in the correct spot. Seven points if that pick is only one spot away from where it ended up. Five points if you're two spots away. Three points if your pick is anywhere in the top 10. And one point for each of your three dark, dark horse picks if any of those happen to end up in the top 10. That's it. They're pretty simple. I'll be keeping score again this year. And I uh, already know everybody's answers here. So I think it's going to be a 
some interesting lists <laughs> going to be unfold. I will say I already have regrets since yeah. we're recording this a week late. I'm Me already too. I'm already in the regret pile here. It didn't take long. I, yeah. I um, even like I, I wrote out my list. I don't know, probably four or five times uh, in, in the last few weeks, and and every time I was like. You know what? I, I just barely lost last year, and the only reason I lost is because I made terrible dark horse picks. Had I picked anything remotely popular in any just True. one of those in those three, I would have won. And I yep. was like, this year I'm I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna make smart dark horse picks that movies that you know, even if people don't like them, people are gonna see them. And what did I do when I wrote out my last list? completely threw that away and i was like screw <laughs> it we're going with weird shit again <laughs> another year we don't have to watch a steve gutenberg movie right <laughs> yeah now it's kind well, of a yeah. weird year we're coming off the the strikes uh i don't think it's a typical summer i think we're still going to be dealing with that for the next couple of years with release dates and things that were pushed back and moved around and delayed indefinitely. So I don't know how typical the summer is going to be. The couple of articles I looked at, nobody's expecting huge numbers. There's just mm. not those surefire things as many of them. There's not as many sure hits as there, there usually is in the summer. So this is pretty much a toss up. I didn't uh, put as much work as Cliff did apparently, but, I gave it my best. We had, I mean, last year was such a strange year uh, when it came to nobody expecting Barbenheimer at all. Like that just to me seemed like it was out of the blue. And I don't believe, did any of us, Seth, you'd probably know this off the top of your head, but did we have, <laughs> what? Did, we have did we have like, uh Barbie and Oppenheimer at least in the area. I think you were you were a champion of Oppenheimer if I remember right because of uh yeah, I, I, I had remember. Barbie the highest of the four. Yeah, that, yeah, Cliff yeah. was Cliff nailed Spider-Verse and he had Barbie the highest. So he like he said, he was just it was the little it was mine to lose details that threw him off. Year. But yeah, yeah. 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 I think uh, I had Barbie as a wild card. It's like it could do, it could, it could be a big hit. Who knows? It did. But I didn't yeah. trust it to me. I have a there's another name that I have a problem with this year that's uh, I probably should add higher, uh, but uh, we'll get to that. Mm. Um, I have a suggestion for the order just because of the order. I I, I, I have a wheel if, order, if needed. It's prepared. Well, He's I really want you to go last. I really want Cliff to go last. Okay, <laughs> let's just go with the order I have here. Okay, so, okay, so, no wheel. Keep the wheel there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think Jordan should go first. Oh, no. We're going to be, we're all going to be naming our number one. This is what we think is going to make the most money this summer. What's the, the biggest box office draw? And and don't spoil your list. When you do talk about your picks, don't talk about your later picks. Let's just let it unfold. Hmm. So the way I did this, I found a list online of just, here's all the, every weekend, right, here's everything right. that's coming out. And I just copied and pasted it. And then I went wow. through and deleted like, every, everything, and I... for, yeah, <laughs> everything for three months. I just got it. <laughs> That's a weird way to do it. Uh, right? so then I went back through and was able to edit. And I like, okay, that's an indie movie. No, that's a limited release. No. So I got the easy ones deleted. And I'm left with, you know, 25, 30 movies. And I just start deleting. No, that won't be. That won't be. That won't be. And I... When I got done with that first pass, I had like seven movies left. I'm like, oh, I was pretty hard on all these. <laughs> wow. So I, I had to undelete a few. So I I had a hard time. Like, normally you think, ooh, what gets left out? I had, I had to like put some back in that I didn't think were going to be in the top ten. So I'm kind of pessimistic about this summer. I don't know. So I, I don't – I'm not sure. I could be eating my words. I'm sure we'll all say something we'll regret later and very, <laughs> oh, com yes. we'll very confidently – Oh, we're them. scared to death. Everybody's scared to death. <laughs> So, to me, the surest bet, even though it's not my thing, it's not really a KPP thing, probably. I went with Despicable Me 4. 
Hello, everybody. Drew, what's up? Wait a minute. Three <laughs> girls, one wife. Something is missing. This guy. Oh, there's my boy. I know you love your dada. Go on, say it. Dada. Dada. Yes, of course he loves you. He just, he just doesn't show it on his face. Or with his body language. <laughs> right, Brew Jr., come on. Brew, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxime Lamal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru! <laughs> we have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor machine! Oh. I love this place! <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, 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 look up! The most important part of a heist is being aware of potential dangers. I trained myself! like a proven family blockbuster franchise that yeah you can't escape the minions i'm sure everyone with kids of a certain age see all these movies and it's one that can run for weeks and weeks and you know we'll just make money uh it comes out july 3rd so it's got a couple months to, to sit there and accumulate so i'm i think i've only seen maybe one or two of the any of the hmm spinoffs or whatever I, mm. I took my nephew to one of them and yeah but so i'm not hugely familiar with this i'm not rooting for this it's not like my emotional pick but it's my intellectual pick of like yeah i think Gru and the minions are gonna gonna pull it out this year and go with number one all right good pick pick despicable me um yeah, what they uh, there was a Despicable Me three, and then what? Then they had the what the Rise of Gru was the last one mm-hmm. was a min- Minions. Yeah. And, well, uh, let's see. I think I have myself going second here. I'm gonna go with my first pick. Uh, for I felt like the sh- again the surest thing that I could find on the list. When, when you said you took we're taking things out, and then you only had seven left. Because you're just like, this isn't going to make money. This isn't going to make You're right. A lot of things are not going to make money, and they might still make the top 10. Right. <laughs> it's going to be rough. But uh, it's going to be a, a, a tough year. And that, they just aren't going to make as much money as they did the last couple of years on movies. But uh, I also went with Despicable Me 4. I felt like uh, that's the one. That's the date. That's the movie. I asked a guy at work, you know, what if you're going to the movies one time this summer? What, what you know, taking your kid? What's it going to be? And that was the uh, immediate answer. You know, just don't don't overthink it. Farts. There you go. You got dumb, <laughs> stupid kids movie. There you go. So that was mine so jesse what's your number one pick yeah yeah i'm right there with you guys despicable me despicable despicable me for despicable mabel despicable, mabel. despicable <laughs> me for is definitely my number one pick here as well 
uh, you know, for all the reasons you guys have already listed, really what factored for me was the time it was releasing and the fact it is accessible to everybody and therefore you're going to sell more tickets and it's going to be the number one this this uh this season for sure i don't know i mean i think there might be some competition with some others but this is going to be the one that runs out on top my opinion so yeah despicable me for we this were all saying this last year. Last year, <laughs> we all picked Guardians the same of Galaxy. number one. Yeah. We're all just like, yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Cliff, uh, Cliff, clean sweep? No. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no, so... this is where he, he schools us again. Here he goes. Uh, um, I, I definitely do. I, I use a different method in... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> in doing these lists, of don't course. spoil your list. But I'm not going to spoil my list. Me. But <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, I wrote it out several times. It was different every time. <clears throat> so uh, we had a due date uh, to kind of mm. let everybody know behind the scenes. We had a due date when we had to have these lists done. So that day, um, that evening. Uh, I I trust my daughter a lot. She's really, you know, I need somebody with the no, real she likes finger, finger finger on the, on pulse. the pulse of, right? of what's happening in the uh, in the in the young people's world. So <clears throat> I had my list here. We started watching some movie trailers, just getting her reaction, and uh, it was interesting. Um, I, I will admit, several of the movie we watched a lot of trailers, a lot of trailers that. Um, I don't think are going to be on this anywhere near this list, <laughs> but um, it was interesting to see what she was excited about. You know, she's, she's uh, almost 17 and, and has seen a lot of these franchises she has seen or grown up with um, uh, these movies. So it was interesting to, to, cause she really doesn't hadn't seen most of these trailers we watched. And so I wanted that reaction. So um, a lot of my list came from that. Okay, but at now number you've one, safely if safely pass the buck and move the blame to someone else. If exactly, get wrong. exactly. It's not my fault if I lose. <laughs> uh, when she's I gonna lose. end up in her in her room That's before right. this is over. Number one, I went with Deadpool and Wolverine. I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm going to need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick-tick, so upsy-daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. <laughs> Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. I am soaking wet right now. This is what I'm talking about. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. What 
to do some cocaine. Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupted? Even forest bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! I think some of these more family-friendly movies are going to wash each other out a little bit. Just my opinion. Um, I think they're still going to be up there, but I think mm, there a lot of them are going to be the same audience. Uh, this is the only Marvel movie. And um, I, I think people are going to make the same mistake or we're going to have a few, uh, I think there's going to be an equal amount of people that make the same mistake and they're going to take, bring their kids and, and young ones to a Deadpool movie again. I don't think anybody <laughs> learned their lesson. And, um, third time's a charm. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. Um, after, after seeing, uh, some of the reactions of this trailer and everything, I just think it's going to be a big hit, um, by default. I think as far as movies that would get me into the theater, I would, of yeah, what I mean, I'm I'll, going to I'll, list here today, it's going to be Deadpool Wolverine. I will go see that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Yeah, I can't fault you. I, I, I'm excited that somebody has a different pick for number one, you know, so may, uh, may win it right there. You may, they may, that may be your man. Could pick. you imagine? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's just having something different. Gives you a, a chance. I had good luck with Barbie last year, guys. You did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you let's not let let's not let everybody listening think that you put Barbie number one. Oh no 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 no, no 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 no! I think she was about six in there, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You. I think you had her at six. I had her at eight or something. Yeah. Um. All right. So moving on to pick two, Jordan. Um, this one again, I just kind of had to go with my gut. Uh, the Pixar franchise used to be a lock to be a you know billion dollar blockbuster anytime a Pixar movie came out. Times have changed, movie going habits have changed, and there's been a few disappointments from the, the Disney animation studio, but I don't think Inside Out 2 will be follow that path i think the first one was so big and has only grown people watching it at home and it's it's become a beloved modern classic so i'm i've been let down by pixar for the last couple of years but i'm banking that it's gonna it's gonna come back big i'm banking on it being the second but only behind the minions <laughs> inside out too this is Joy, coming to you live in Riley's mind. Make some noise! Sadness is in the house! It's anger! Let me at him! We gotta get our mouth guard, people! Fear! No, no! That's not ours! Disgust! Glad to have her on our team. Our little girl's growing up so fast. Ow. Sorry. It should be nothing but smooth sailing for... I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? A new emotion. Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? Uh, I'm envy. Oh, look at your hair. Oh, yeah, not happening. That's on we. On what? It's what you would call the boredom. What's your name, big fella? That's embarrassment. Welcome to headquarters, embarrassment. Mm. Oh, we're doing a fit. No. Oh, nope, going high. Oh, you got a real sweaty palm there, buddy. <laughs> Look, we all have a job to do. I plan for the future. You want to sit with us? These girls are so cool. We can't let her know we're excited. I got this. Uh, Joy, I'm just curious. Maybe um, I could Thank you. Help. Not now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <gasps> That's not going to haunt us for the rest of our lives at all. Are you feeling I know change is scary. Let's do this. Hey, Riley. But we need new friends or we'll be totally alone in high school. Out with the old, in with the new. Riley's life requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. Ah! You can't just bottle us up. We are suppressed emotions. Oh, ah! Let Operation 
Mission New Riley begin. You aren't packed yet? I'm the worst! <laughs> well, that's a preview of the next 10 years. Come on! Riley needs us. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Many times. It's the sarcasm! Sarcasm? Boy, are we so lucky we ran into you guys! Boy, are we so lucky we ran into you guys! Wow, those guys are jerks. Wow, those guys are jerks. Good pick, good pick. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I like that pick, but I like, uh, I like it at, I, I think it's gonna do good, but I, I, I feel like the again, like Cliff said, the one and Jesse, the the movie that I'm gonna definitely I'm gonna see a bunch of these, but I'm definitely gonna actually be at is Deadpool Wolverine. Mm -hmm. So while I think Despicable Me is gonna be the biggest kids movie, I think I'm gonna bank on Deadpool Wolverine making you know at least three hundred domestic. So I'm going with that, Jesse. All right, yeah. My number two is Inside Out 2. So, same formula. I mean, what's going to be the most accessible to families out there? This is actually running, if I just read this right, it started. it's going to start in June. So, it's going to have that much longer to run uh, to kind of get that family movie blockbuster trend going, possibly. Um, and yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed the first film. So those who enjoyed the first film are going to come out and, and check out the second one. In my opinion, I don't know how much weight that somebody puts into, oh, it's a Pixar film. It's, you know, I, they're all going to the trash. I don't think that's the case. These people are looking at what they saw before in regards to the film, and they're definitely going to feel like, hey, I know these characters. I know how much fun the first film was. What was the name of the, uh, the uh, imaginary friend? Bing Bong. Uh, or not, Bing Bong, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I, that sticks in my mind. Just And I only mm. watched I don't, I only watched that a couple times. So um, great, great franchise, in my opinion. Well, it's two movies now, but I think it's, you know, it was a fun, it's going to be a fun sequel, and I think it's going to land at number two. Cliff. Couldn't agree more. Um, Inside Out 2, uh, I think it is going to come out on top uh, as far as these family movies go. Um, I think Pixar does have some weight to it. Um, you know, maybe the last few, I don't know, I mean, last year, Elemental... We, we thought was going to be a, a giant dud and it just built and built and built. Um, yeah. It had a bad first weekend and then ended up with like 150 million. So yeah. Yeah. You know, I think, that's, uh, I think it, it yeah, it could, it's, uh, it's probably gonna do better than that. And, and I think as far as sequels go, um, despicable me, it's four plus all the minion movies. Um, I don't know that it feels as much of an event. I still think it's going to be huge. I think it'll be popular, but I think inside out is going to be the winner between the two. It's going to have to make some back. Those despicable me movies make like three, make a lot of money. Yeah. And again, like judging, you know, my daughter, um, watching those movie trailers and, and like, um, that was kind of her reaction. Despicable me for, and she was like, Oh yeah, it's getting kind of played out. Oh. And then she was like, well, but we went to that minions movie last year or the year People before were dressing up for and it she, and everything. And like, she goes, and we dressed up for it. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah, but she's like, no, no, Pixar fire. Uh, Wow, she's gonna have to move out after this. <laughs> when she, when she oh, makes you lose. Hey, let me just say, if you're on Letterboxd, Carly Barnes is a great follow. <laughs> I don't care if you follow any of us; you should follow Carly. She would, she would appreciate it. She works hard on those. <laughs> she loves that app now. 
Like she is all about it. She has become like, you know, she's a, if she's not at work, she, she's like, what movie are we going to watch tonight? Let's watch a movie. And, uh, and I think it's just because she wants to put a little review up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I say this, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not being snarky. Like, I I consider myself a writer and I would kill to be able to like synthesize in like two sentences. She just like, <laughs> yeah, this movie slays this person's fire. Yeah. Go see it. It's like, you just synthesize that like everything. Like <laughs> she has a knack that like just to cut through the BS, like the team, only a team can. She sure <laughs> gets to the core of that apple. <laughs> <laughs> I will let her All know, right. Jordan. She will appreciate it. Jordan, you're number three. <laughs> Three, this is where I slotted Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, yeah, this is the one I'm anticipating the most. Um, this is the one and you know, I own a comic book store. This, you know, people are still, you know, Wolverine's the most popular character <laughs> the last 50 years. Deadpool is beloved. Even, you know, the civilians who've never read a comic know and love Deadpool. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be huge. Like Cliff said, it's the only Marvel movie, not just of the summer, of the entire year. This is the only Marvel Studios movie we're getting. And it's going to tie. There's multiverse stuff. There's going to be callbacks to old classic movies. There's going to be cameos. crazy cameos, we're sure of. So this is going to have buzz. It's going to have word of mouth. It's one of those you're going to have to see or you're going to, you're going to get spoiled from memes and things. So I just feel like this is one people are... Again, that Marvel logo used to mean there was a, you know, it was going to make X amount of money. No nope, X pun intended. But like, again, there's been some, oh, that's a little disappointment. This one's underperformed, but I don't think this one's going to do that. Um, it is opening July 26th, so it's kind of the end of July. It's only going to have that one month for, yeah. our, for our purposes, but... Again, that opening weekend is going to make more than most movies this year. So I think this is going to be monster. But I still slotted it at number three because I got burned by Guardians of the Galaxy last year. So I couldn't put it at number one. (laughs) So I had to slide her down to Hmm. number three. Yeah, I I went with um, Inside Out 2 here. Number three, we're all just kind of mixing them around here. But uh, that's where I added out. I just think I just... I feel like it's going to do good, but when I was talking to that guy about mo- the movie, the kids' movies and stuff, he's just like, yeah, I saw that trailer. It's like, wait, I, I love that, you know, but now I got little kids and they're like, they're, they're not going to understand what the, all these feelings and everything. Like, it, it, the trailer's like so convoluted. And he's like, but they, but, uh, they definitely understood the minions. <laughs> you know, there's caught in a vending machine. Okay. That was simple. Yeah. Uh, he goes, so, uh, and he goes, besides, that's going to be on Disney Plus, right? At some point. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, they, so we've talked about them devaluing themselves a little bit there, but I, I agree it'll be an event. I think it's, you know, I think it's going to be up here in the top part of the list. So I've got it at three. Jesse. L. Or Jordan. Jo- Jordan and Jesse, right? <laughs> That's what we're doing. Here. <laughs> well, how did Jordan do his picks? Because basically, he, I, I sent him your list, and he just took things off of it. <laughs> I cut. I copied and paste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, LFG. I've got Deadpool and Wolverine at number three, and really, a lot of it is because it's rated R, and I think there are some discerning parents out there <laughs> that will make a good decision and not take their kids to go see this film. Uh, although, I mean, my goodness, I, I will probably be taking my 14 year old to go watch this film. Um, this is, hmm. this is going to be the culmination of uh, a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of hype. And I, I, I think it's going to deliver in my opinion, I've always I enjoyed the first two Deadpool films. Um, we've always been wanting to see Wolverine and Deadpool, the actual Deadpool, the one, the, you know, the, the yeah. Merc with the mouth in a movie together and actually do something. And this is going to be it. And my goodness, I mean, as far as 
for myself. This is a movie that definitely speaks to me. But I think the uh, the rest of everybody out there, the, these Deadpool movies, they I think are there's something to bet on. So, yeah, but I, I had to put it at number three. I had it at number one at one point. And I was like, I talked myself out of it. I was like, man, you got to think about who's going to go see this film and and what it's up against when it comes to everybody can go see uh, Despicable Me or Inside Out. So it, it had to go below that. I remember how the internet went nuts at the first glimpse of a of that blue and yellow costume. Yeah, yeah. And just the excitement of, oh my God, it's finally happening. <laughs> we'll see. All right, Cliff. Number three. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm. I'm. I don't know. Uh, just felt like a summer blockbuster. That's that's how they're billing it, right? The Fall Guy. That's me, Colt Sievers, and this is my hero's journey. We just start from the top. <laughs> okay, I'm not the hero of this story. I'm just a stunt guy. I'm trying to look cool in front of the director of this movie. That's her, who I just so happen to have a major crush on. We need to keep it super professional. Cool. Do you want to make out? Nope. Because I don't either. It's not what I'm into right now. Making out? Yeah. What are you into? Talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one little wrinkle. The star of the movie, Tom, 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 Tom Ryder, is missing. We need you to find him. Why me? You're a stunt man. No one's gonna notice whether you're here or not. No offense. I mean, some taken. Tom? Full disclosure, he has fallen in with some shady people. Just checking in on you. And they're not gonna like you sniffing around. <laughs> I'm just a stunt guy! This is insane, man. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We got drugs, bad guys, and murder. What's an ice crime? Are you saying ice cream or ice cream? Ice crime. Okay, it's just with your answer that's hard. I'm not reporting an ice cream. Yes, no, I get that. Okay. This is an epic story. The cosmic proportion. Stop! Bad guys are closing in. We're gonna hide you. Nope. We're gonna beat this shit out of them. I never forget a fist. I don't mean it like that. Nothing like a good twist. Who doesn't love a twist? Let's make some trouble. Get out of my head. Stay alive. No matter what. We're gonna beat the shit out of him. Paul. I have a better idea. You wanna die? Okay. Maniac. This stunt man's crazy. We're gonna surround him. And we beat the shit out of him. Shit. One last stunt. Going down in a blaze of glory. We need a big finale. How many takes do you have of that? I've got five takes. Oh, so big. Yeah. The Fall Guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I uh, there, so it, uh, it, it, it felt regrets. Like, it, it felt like a summer blockbuster. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I thought uh, you know, <clears throat> I I thought it was gonna <laughs> really be uh, you know Ryan you can Gosling's talk it up, Cliff. next. People people can still yeah, get they out can there. Still yeah. get them out there. Get them out there. So. I really think uh, when I made this list, I thought Ryan Gosling could do no wrong and Emily Blunt and the trailer. You were like, Barbie. Barbie. Yeah, Barbie did it for bank me. it on Barbie. And uh, in fact, my wife uh, said something a couple nights ago, the trailer come on and she goes, wait, this has Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. And I was like, yeah. 
She's like, that's, that's amazing. And I was like, I know it should be. So I don't know. Uh, I loved the fall guy when I was a kid. So maybe I had a little bit uh, too much nostalgia for Lee majors and, uh, in a Brown pickup truck, but, uh, <clears throat> oh, it's in the movie The Brown Pickup. <laughs> Go so, see the Brown Pickup. I remember the hype when somebody showed the Brown Pickup truck on Twitter. Mm-hmm. It was oh, there. I never. <laughs> <seen that. laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see where it shakes out, guys. It should be yep. up there towards yep. the top. But that's not a it crazy, should be. That's not a crazy pick. You're not no. A no. picking that. No. A week ago. I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> a week like, ago. <laughs> a week ago. Uh, Strong pick it's a, a week ago. Pick now. It's a crazy pick now, but yeah. you're not picking now. Oh, all right. We're at number four. This is uh, what we're going to start going. Things are going to finally start switching. Oh, started changing? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, four. I went with Furiosa. The uh, Mad Max franchise sequel to Fury Road uh, Furiosa we've come too far Furiosa they took Furiosa as a child my world was forever changed. My mother was magnificent. And he took it all from me. Who do we have here? She's from a place of abundance. This is our destiny. My childhood. My mother. I want them. I want them back. Whatever you have to do, however long it takes, promise you'll find your way home. Protect the green place. It's time to take what rightfully ours. Ray, Sandy, go! Find him, he's mine. There will always be war, but to get home, Furiosa fought the world. This opens May 24th, so I felt like that's a good early before there's a lot of other competition out there. It's going to open, and I just thought I never quite got the hype of the first one, but everyone else I know loves it. It was nominated for Oscars. It was a huge, huge hit. And now we're gonna we're gonna give we're gonna plug in Anya Taylor Joy into the lead role, mm-hmm. and I just felt like this is one people are gonna want to see on a big screen. You know, we see we do a lot of streaming nowadays, but if you're gonna see those crazy stunts and and car crashes and wild happenings, I, I feel like people are gonna want it to rattle. <laughs> They're gonna want the sound rattling them in their in their seats. So, I this might be a bit of a a a, a tall order, but I, I think it's going to be a biggie. I like it. I'll definitely see it. My number four, I just purchased my tickets for while well, Cliff was talking a couple seconds ago. I, uh, I'm going to go see it tomorrow. I'm not even a big apes guy, <laughs> but uh, 
there's a lot of apes guys out there. So, and they've got the, both the big theaters are going to be showing kingdom of the planet of the apes. Your father, he waits. Much to learn, much to teach. There are dangers beyond our village. What a wonderful day! your clan you chose a human over an ape this was a human place it is not yours it is now isn't it the elders did not tell us everything about this world nor bend for your king never tickets now so i feel like it's gonna do pretty you know pretty good it'll a lot of people like to go see those yeah i think the last one did you know 150 or something so we'll see we'll see i think uh it's like a new um new story or whatever that kind of end basically ended mm. with war and now they're coming back with something new but the girls there i don't freaking know what's going on anyway apes apes <laughs> go see it <laughs> we got there jesse all right number four and yeah you're right things are shaping <laughs> up to be sticking around here i've got borderlands <laughs> Would you look at that? A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of... Well, Destiny awaits. Legend has it that there's this massive treasure hidden in some secret vault. And if you go hunting for it, you'd better take any help you can get. Because it's on the weirdest, most dangerous dumpster fire of a world in the universe. God, I hate this planet. What is that smell? Piss wash gully. Ew! Put the window up! I don't want to! Roll the window up! Roll the window up! Yeah. It's Pete. It's Pete. Why do you think it's called piss wash? How did I get the name? It's in my mouth! Do you know how many people have died 
Looking for this vault? We have something they don't, baby girl. Okay. What? Major issues. Time to make it rain! With your body parts! What did I tell you? Minimal no explosions! I said no explosions! Bigger. What are you doing? I needed a gun. So you asked for it. <laughs> There's only one of you in the world. You're special. Uh-oh. Killed them all. happening right now i'm expelling the excess lead i can't go if you're looking at me Ooh, actually scrap that oh, i can i really can actually it's helping are we really waiting for this to finish ah, keep looking at me oh. and justification for that yes live action board video Video, video games. Video, you like yes. video games? I live love action video. video games. All right. As long as you like I video games. <laughs> time travel video. Oh. <laughs> I, I, Fallout right now is I mean, is great. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you had a chance to watch Fallout, yeah. but th- there's definitely a renaissance. Last of Us, great. All right. Um, this is clearly going to be a comedy. We got Jack Black's involved. We got Kevin Hart. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in this thing. Yeah. Kate Blanchett. Gina Gershon. I really think that this, if it's done well, and I'm obviously hoping that it does, Mm -hmm. the word of mouth is going to get around and people are going to go watch Borderlands. So I had it at number four, and I will say that I was switching it back and forth uh, with my yeah. number five, but uh, I I landed this there, and I'll explain why when we get to number five. Uh, but Borderlands, folks, I'm just banking on star power here. Uh, yeah, and go ahead. I, I was just gonna say I had a hard time placing this one too, Jesse. Okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. the trailer was you never great. Know. Yeah, you never know. Never know. Comes out, you'll it'll have. You know, a month in the box office. That's plenty of time to, you know, if they're going to see it, they're going to probably go see it right away. So we will see what happens. You never know. No, nope, I'm not willing to poop. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see it. We got their cliff. Number four, I've got the bike riders. I'm thinking of starting a riding club. Why? All those clubs do is sit around talking about motorcycles. That's what we do. You don't belong nowhere else, so you belong together. But you're the man in charge. I'm John. We're the man, though. I'm Ben. I like you guys. Your boyfriends are getting into trouble. What the hell were you thinking back then? Nothing. I saw you scoring off of them guys. What do I need to think for? Yeah, you and me, kid. Johnny always loved Benny. This is our family. Forever. Hey! I told you to take that jacket off. You'd have to kill me to get this jacket off. trouble here then i'll let you leave what about the bar find it down we gotta go nah we don't they're scared of us 
these young guys. We ain't gotta follow nobody except somebody who can hold their own. The club is changing. Running drugs, gambling. Is that who we are not? You can't have him, he's mine. But if he keeps riding, he's gonna die one way or another. I need you. Some people would rather crash than slow down. Wild stuff out here. What is that? Bike riders. The bike riders. It's. Yeah. Uh, I've seen the trailer. Yeah, he's I going haven't. star power. Star power. The, All the, right. The trailer looks awesome. It's got Tom Hardy and uh, uh, Austin Butler. Um, the kid that played Elvis, uh, yep. I don't know, a couple Jody Comer. Ago. So yeah, it's like a, like a biker gang greaser 19, I think 1960s, um, movie about their biker gang. And I think, I think it's in Chicago, maybe if I remember correctly from the trailer and, um, yeah, just this, uh, the rough and tumble, uh, uh, motorcycle guys and, and, uh, um, it becomes their way of life. And it, you know, the, the trailer looks amazing. Um, I had caught it. I uh, went to see something and caught this trailer a while back. And I think it was supposed to maybe come out, um, at an earlier date, but I think it was moved to summer. Yeah. It was um, supposed to be, it was supposed to be last year. I think. Yeah. So yeah, um, just basing it on the trailer, I I think uh, if more people see the trailer, and, and I think it's going to get really good word of mouth, um, as the uh, the kind of you know gritty adult drama, um, probably with some action in there, some fight scenes, and uh, uh, of the summer this year, I think it's going to be uh, mm. a big hit. Michael Shannon, I, Boyd Holbrook, Norman Reedus. That is that's a great cast. Manly. Norman Reedus, a biker. I never would have thought of You never know. It's Jeff Nichols directing. I like him. It takes shelter one of my favorite movies. Good stuff. I think the most he's ever grossed though is like twenty million in the US. So twenty million might this be a is, lot. This is gonna be his biggest be movie ever. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, if this summer sucks, it could be right there. Uh, so, we are definitely moving around on the list here. Let's see. Uh, Jordan, come at us with your number five. Uh, yeah, this one, again, it's not something I'm hyped for, but I can see it just, you know, we're going to the movies this weekend. What do you want to see? And this is that I, I can see this appealing to a huge audience. Twisters. a generation tornado outbreak continues across Oklahoma. We've never seen tornadoes like this before, and we need your help. No, I don't chase anymore. Kate, we can save lives. I'll give you one week. All right, fellas. We got PhDs from NASA, FEMA, and Kate. She's the smartest person I know. Hey, dudes. This is interesting. Who are they? It's Tyler Owens. He calls himself a tornado wrangler. If you feel it. Scared of nothing. You know, our crew is not like your crew. I can't breathe and I catch my breath. We don't need PhDs and fancy tech. You know Sometimes the old ways are better than the new. Well, you can always trust a guy who puts his face on a t-shirt. Are those fireworks? 
Yes, ma'am. You got quite the reputation, city girl. You think you can disrupt a tornado? In theory. But in the field, in the moment, I got it wrong. We never had a chance. You want one? Are you seeing this? We got twins! Twins! They're combining. Go faster. Let's ride. It's all right to be scared. Fear's the reason you do it. You don't face your fears, you ride them. Holy. Have you ever seen anything like this? Not like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on! The original was huge. Again, it was a long time ago, but it was a blockbuster back when they made movies. <laughs> Every, you know, there were movies like that. Just like, hey, here's a fun disaster movie with flying cows. And I can just <laughs> see, I can see this one doing the same thing of like, even if, you know, there's a whole generation, for, you know, may not even know the first one exists, yeah. but it's, it's one of those legacy sequels. You probably don't, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm sure oh, there's yeah. probably references right. and cameos, like all those twister heads out there, you know, been done. <laughs> Been dying oh, to man. follow this up, but yeah, yeah, I want to see good... it to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's got good special effects, just a fun action movie, and and, and without a lot of uh, you know, you know, there's no you know uh, complicated uh, <laughs> plot mm. lines to follow. There's no emotions we got to figure out. It's just a, yeah, driving don't, through a twist. Don't think about don't think about it too hard. Hey, yeah, I uh. I did not know where to put this movie, so I, I hope it does really good. Like I, th I thought it was gonna, it was one of those that could totally blow up. Like I just don't know if it has the star power to get them in there, but I think the, the theatrics of it, the people, like you said, for Furious, the people are gonna want to see it on the big screen. I'm gonna want to. I'm excited to go. Like uh, this is a popcorn movie, right, right there. So. I, I definitely would like to. My number five, though. I mean, gosh, you want star power? Jeez. Come on. What gets bigger than dim boys, the bad boys? <laughs> bad boys. Number five? What you going to oh, do? Oh, my goodness. How did you rank Planet of the Apes and Bad Boys way higher than I have? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Mike. Slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. <laughs> Uh, get a ginger ale and nothing else. Are those dogs fresh? Put them in yesterday. Give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm -mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Shut the fuck up. Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I got to go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> Hey, Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. Captain Howard is being framed. Let's go. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If you see him, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuckers! Fuck them all! I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. <laughs> We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No! We can't wait for Lowry! It's 
flammable! I know they're scientists! Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. I need nasty mice! Bad boy! I got this! What you do, though? Hey, Mike. We're soulmates. No. I saw my soulmate looking different than that. You're stuck in the physical. Souls don't have dicks. I'm pretty sure my soul has a dick, Marcus. Bad boys that we we saw right before the world, <laughs> the world. ended. Yeah, uh, we saw it in January. Made two hundred million. <laughs> it was pretty dang big, and uh, I think people want to see them boys. <laughs> so at least as much as they want to see any of this other stuff. So I, I just I feel like. It has as good a chance as any of the rest of the stuff. People, there is start. People recognize this. And yeah. I've and, seen like multiple things, like Will Smith's first role since the slap. How will audiences react? Like, I, no one cares. Really? They like no. Will it's Smith. Mike Lowry. They yeah, want to see what Mike Lowry. Lowry's yeah. Doing. I mean, come on. Yeah, mm. I think he's he's still got a chance of pulling it off. I, you know, I don't know. I don't even think I've seen a trailer, so I don't know whether it looks exciting or not. But uh, I, I, saw, get I saw the silly. trailer. I saw. The I hope it doesn't get too Same. silly, but I'm sure it's jokey or whatever. But I, I, you know, I still love the first movie, and I you know, always have a good time. And it's just got that summer movie vibe. It's going to have a lot of time in the theater, and I, I think it'll draw. I, I'm I feel I actually feel good about this pick. So you may not. I do. Um, if you win and it's bad because of bad boys, I'm I will gladly. Oh, <laughs> this, oh, you'll ne- you, I will have won forever. <laughs> <laughs> For life. Um right or not. Uh let's see. Oh, that's what people complain about. Why did you not have four life be the fourth movie? It's like how exactly. did you not play in one yeah. movie I had? Oh, uh, Jesse, you're number five. Number get five. Back on, get back yeah, on track. We're right back on track. Are we went this <laughs> way and now we're right back on it because my goodness, 30, I think it was 30 something close to 30 years ago. I think Twister came out in 96. Yeah. Um, Went to the, I remember watching that in the theaters. And if you, follow like storm chasers there's a lot of people that credit bill paxton i forgot you are a storm guy (laughs) he well he you know a lot of people credit um bill paxton's role uh getting them into storm chasing and there's a lot of that out there that the excitement of that movie brought a lot of people in it's a great movie my goodness it's a great film i love it yeah and and yeah this really feels like they are hey it's twisters we've mm. got twins yeah all right and I, man I, what a that meme this week or the poster this week caused quite a ruckus online oh my gosh what what Where, happened the, the the they put out the poster this week with a big twister with it's on fire it has oh, all yes. this all this debris in it it just looks like total hell and all the people in the poster are looking the opposite direction <laughs> And they're like, like, they're like, everybody's like, ha ha. Everybody's like, ha ha. What are they looking at? Ha 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 ha. And then people started going, you could see the truck. There's a truck parked there behind them. And in the rear view mirror, there's another twister. And like, they're looking at another twister. I was like, oh, the joke's on you. Look at that. I didn't see the the, the one in the, I still would have been looking at the one that was on fire. (laughs) Bunch of nerds. Um, Tornado on fire. (laughs) Yeah. See, yeah, before yeah, yeah. the internet made us all cynical, we had movies like Twister that we just yeah. all enjoyed. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I one so- thing I always remember about that movie is in the trailer that the the trailer had a awesome 
shot of a tire bouncing and bounces right into yep. the camera and it's yep. not in the movie and it, i was yep. like i that got me to go to the movie excited to see that and it didn't happen yep. mm, mm. well so yeah it's for me I, the reason why i put it at number five and was switching it back and forth with borderlands is because of that gap of time that Jordan mentioned. The fact that we're almost 30 years out since the first one. The thing is, is that a Twister movie, you can go online and stream a Twister movie really simply. So the bloom may have come off the rose of this 30 years ago. Now, as we are in the age of streaming and finding just about anything that probably can match similar special effects to 30 years ago. So, uh, and but yeah, I mean, this really I think launched storm chasing. It, and unfortunately, our culture now is used to that. So I don't know how well it's going to do. That's why I had to put it lower at number five. But I believe that it's going to be a popcorn flick. People want to go. They want action, and they want uh, they want some adventure. And they're going to watch to see if she can kill a tornado. You want to kill a tornado? She's going to kill a tornado, I guess. Hey, if Donald Trump can launch uh, nukes at a at a hurricane, then I can't wait to see what they're going to throw at a twister. <laughs> yeah. Do it. All right, Cliff, what's your number five? Number five. Um, I think it's going to be a big year for old Rhino Reynolds. And, Rhino! Uh, <laughs> I went with IF. Looky. She is the perfect fit, I promise. Did she even see you? She was about to. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> no, no, no. Hi. Oh, God. This is just so exciting. What is happening? Well, that's a perfectly understandable question given numb. I'm an if. Get it? Imaginary? Friend? Our kids grew up. So we need new ones. You could save all of us. All of who? And don't say ifs. Let him say it or I think his head may actually explode. Thank you. You ready for this? There's no telling who's behind that door today. We have to help them. Yes, we do. Not gonna ask you again. Put some pants on. You're freaking everyone out. Starting to see why I live alone. Gee! Kind of a kid creates an invisible if. Don't, uh, don't, don't look him in the eye. Which one? You know damn well which one. Thanks for doing this. It really means a whole lot. Uh, I... Um. Uh, speaking super, of imaginary friend. Imaginary friend. Um. Yeah. Super cute trailer. Uh. Steve Carell. Bing bong. Yes. Uh. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, d- directed by John Krasinski. It's got a uh, the voices uh, everybody that's everybody that's in this movie. Um, it's going to be a great year for family film. Did not, and, and I did yeah. not know what to do with this movie. Like you may, this may totally redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> totally <laughs> redeemed yourself. Yep. I I don't know. I've seen a preview. It did not interest me in the slightest. But like you said, like it gets kids movies get people in the seats yeah i just don't know if it's animated enough i don't know if it what it is or isn't enough or if it's or if it's got it you know we're gonna find out yeah 
All right, we're moving on to pick six, and this is where Jordan wins the summer movie challenge. Mm. Speaking of an animated movie that's got it, Garfield. Wait here, Junior. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh. You hungry, little guy? I'm gonna name you Garfield. Let's get it. Good morning. You deserve to be seen with somebody as flies. Me. We're gonna need the big scale. Does she need to announce it to the whole office? Say when. Never, John. Bury me in cheese. Mm-hmm. Life here is pretty near perfect. Little did I know, it was all about to collapse. Oh, dear, I'm dreaming again. Slap me across the face. I think this is a case of mistaken identity. You must be looking for another gorgeous, lovable kitty cat. Big bag hunter with the... Ah! She got a big bag, drop it, drop it. Come on, Junior. You. Huh? This is Vic, my father. Welcome back, Victor. <gasps> Listen, I need your help. Get them! <gasps> I haven't seen you for years, and when I do, you're on the run from a deranged cat. <laughs> we need to toughen you up. Hey, I know tough, Vic. <laughs> You've obviously never been in an olive garden that's run out of breadsticks. Follow my lead. <gasps> Junior! Oh, cheddar. Probably one of my top 26 favorite cheeses. Mm. My orange tabby and my dog are both missing. Your call is very important. There are 1,046 people ahead of you. <gasps> Drop them now! We have to go save my dad. Oh, that cat's a goner. You think you can battle these villains on your own? If I don't make it back, tell my story. Hey, little mama, yeah, you heard about me. Part of me wants to help him. No, this is how he learns. <laughs> no, please, no. Ow, it's so hot. Ow, it's really hurting. Ow, ow, ow. You saw nothing. I knew I'd be highest on this movie. <laughs> it's going to make my list. This is hashtag Summer of Garfield. Guys, I was in the frozen food aisle last night. Stouffer's lasagna. He's got big pictures of Garfield on it. They're already tying <laughs> it. They're, mar- they're crushing it. You Marketing can't get any more on brand than that. <laughs> oh, dang. Mm. It wasn't on a Monday either. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like Garfield is that evergreen property. I still get moms and grandmas. You know, I have a comic book store full of characters, and I still get. Do you have any Garfield? Like Garfield is just m- still means something to people, and if the movie's any good at all, if the animation looks yeah, it looks nice and clean, so I I just I feel like Garfield's going to be a big hit this year, at least a number. Oh, uh, I it's it's uh yeah of course since we submitted our list since then there's been a little global tracking and it's it looks like it's going to do better than I I I thought it looks like it's going to anyway I don't mm. know mm. I used to collect all those I had all those little rectangular book garfield mm-hmm. books yeah i remember you know, when i was a kid tons of them and i you know liked all that i'm not gonna go see this movie but i but i think like a lot of people will go see it and you know it's got the chris pratt that's bump the pratt yeah pratt magic Dude. yeah that's the that was the that was the variable that i thought may actually boost it up there people actually do they you love know, they the push chris, that chris pratt they cartoon love, yeah that's what i mean so we will see yeah, when I was growing up, uh, we had we had a set of um, I think they were McDonald's glasses mm. that were Garfield yeah. that we yeah. had forever. We used them all the time, right. drank out of them all the time. Uh, a few years ago, I, I discovered on I think a TikTok or something they were they were full of lead. Um, so oh jeez, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So mail you should mail them to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I was talking to a guy, that guy worked. And I named all the animated movies and what he thought that he'd be taking his kids to, and he said, "Despicable Me." I, I said, uh, "He said my kids don't know who Garfield is." I was like, "Your kids don't know who Garfield is yet." 
<laughs> I was like, they have not been advertising it yet. Give it a week or two. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get pummeled with that Garfield trailer. Are you having lasagna like, this week? Because they're going to exactly. know. <laughs> they're going to know. <laughs> they're going to see that box. <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you, you know, we're going to find out you don't eat homemade lasagna. So <laughs> I think that's a great pick at six, and I'm jealous, basically. Uh, I, however, <laughs> uh, Call me Colt Seavers. I'm, uh, this is where I I take my fall guy here. Mm. I, uh, Join the club. I put it, slotted it in here, right before it's you know big weekend. Um, I don't know. Who knows where it'll shake out? Maybe a lot of the things from down from below this won't do that great. But it, I would have liked to seen it do better. And they promoted the heck out of this. I was really going with that. I was like, they really tried hard to promote this movie. So surprised it didn't do as well as I thought it should. It's a good movie. It's it. You know, I was d- disappointed with a few things with it, but it's a, it's a celebration of stunts and it's got, like you said, it's got that Gosling like ability and it's very fun and funny. And I, even, I have nostalgia for the show. Yeah. You know, yeah, There's I even little saw, callbacks to that. saw some stuff today um, about, you know, a push f- to add um, stunts to the to the Oscars as a category. Oh, yeah, they've been taught. That was the big talk the last forever. They finally got around to adding casting last year. So I, the stunts will be the next thing at some point. They even take shots at Tom Cruise. Oh, uh, I love it. So, so if you love that, go see it. I, I should go see number six. <laughs> Please go see it. Uh, Jesse, what do you have at number six? Number six. I have a quiet place. Day one. The squeakle. Yes, sir. So this, the, the first movie I remember watching, speaking of the OG movie pass, mm. um, I will, went and saw this in the theaters and I just remember like, this doesn't speak very well for what I expected to do here, but it was me and like three other people in the theater. But it was, again, it was probably like close to nine o'clock at night and the movie had already been out for just a little bit, but it was a great experience to be in there and have everybody just be absolutely still and quiet. It was so different from what I was used to in the movies. So that resonated with me. Um, Anytime people shut up in the movie theater is (laughs) a great deal for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the sequel, I thought the sequel did was decent. I didn't go to the theaters to watch that, but I watched that streaming. And I'm, I'm a sucker for these types of movies where it's the world's, there's a, some kind of big cataclysmic event that happens this, in this situation. It's an alien invasion, and everybody has to kind of deal with it. And you get to see kind of what happened and led to these you know, our, our world changing so much um, and how everybody had to deal with it on that first day. So I'm excited about it. I think that a lot of other people will be too, just because uh, the trailer looked great and a quiet place is usually uh, a fun movie to watch. So I think the last one did about 160 mil domestic. So, you know, that's a, that's a good, that ain't bad. For... Ain't too shabby. It's not, I probably is not going to do that, but it's, uh, I don't, again, all of these numbers are going to be lower, so I think it's a good spot. Yeah, the, good the spot. first one was definitely a phenomenon. I, I, this will probably determine whether this becomes a franchise that keeps going or not. So we'll yeah. I mean, see how, how it we kind of know that it's they're not going to win. 
This is the prequel. This is day one. <laughs> right. Yeah. What do you got there, Cliffy? At uh, number six, did you decide to uh, make any wild picks? No. Um, this is where I uh, I slotted in Despicable Me for. Um, still, I totally agree. I think it's going to be a huge hit. Um, how can it not be? Uh, this franchise has made so, so much money. Um, so I, I've got it at six, still pretty high. It's where I had Barbie last year, I think. And uh, that worked out well. Um, but uh, as a I, Disney homer, you've got to have a I, chance to root against it in some fashion. That's it. That's <laughs> it. I uh, really think, like oh, I said. Oh, bike riders. <laughs> <laughs> really think Inside Out 2 is going to be uh, the the ultimate winner out of these movies. But um, out of what movie or money is to be made uh, this summer, I, 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 I think this is still pretty high. I Bye. like I like the pick. <laughs> like I like Spec Will Me Four doing good. Banana. Banana. Um Okay, we're up to number seven. I didn't notice this making list, but as I'm sitting here right now, I just realized out of the top ten, seven of mine are sequels. Two are from existing properties, and there's only one original film in the whole list and that is if imaginary friends again i don't this could be the biggest blockbuster of the year or people could decide they don't care at all i think this is all or nothing <laughs> this, i don't mm. i don't feel like this will be a middle of the road pick so i don't know it's i said it's original it's got star power it's it's a clever idea yeah let's see what happens <laughs> yeah Roll it's got that dice. it's got that space jam roger rabbit thing going on where you know some there's some live action mixed with the animated characters, um, which that is, way they get to see Ryan Ryan Reynolds. Face. Ryan right. Reynolds. You can't go wrong with Ryan Reynolds. And Krasinski's, you know, batting pretty good average on anything that's he true. puts that's, out that's there. Very so. True. Uh yeah, my number seven. I was feeling Jesse here with the Quiet Place. I like I like that out of you know get up in the hundred, little over a hundred million dollar range. That's where I where I want my number seven. So I'm hoping. Uh, I feel like people are gonna what what weeks that come out. Let's see, Quiet Place. That's at six twenty eight. So right before the. Fourth of July holiday. Yep. So that's a good spot. Yep. I like the dates there. Um, what you got there, Jesse, for your number seven? Number seven. Uh, I went with Bad Boys or Ride or Die. Mm. So a little low. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 I, I, I'm, I'm just setting up those clips for the the next show when i, gotcha. when I eat all this yeah. uh-huh um I, so i did watch the trailer for bad boys ride or die oh is that good and or bad? that's why it's at number seven because okay. i feel like this is a situation where uh, how much more can we get out of these guys before <laughs> well, you know, uh, no it, I'm going to tell you that Martin Lawrence's character is this... Martin, let's just leave it at Martin Lawrence. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's getting tough. It's, it's getting real tough. He used to be such a funny guy and oh, he's, yeah. he's still pretty funny, but it's really like over the top ham fisted Martin mm. Lawrence now. And it's, that's why I had to put it at number seven. I think people were going to finally start to see through all this. Um, but you know, it's... you're not helping our case here. You and I have this the highest. You need to be oh, talking oh, it up. Wait a second. But on the other hand, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of it. I love ham. Will Smith. I eat, it, eat it with my fist. From what I heard, this is his first acting gig after the slap. Huh. I wonder what he's going to do. <laughs> I bet he slaps Martin Lawrence in this movie. Uh, I'll uh... bet a hundred dollars. I bet you a grimy, limey that, baseball. That dude. might happen in a trailer. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't doubt it. 
But yeah, I, mean, I like I'm, it. I've got it at seven. That's where it's I gonna have it. to be. Sure. All right, Cliff. What do you have at seven? <laughs> 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 oh, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. <laughs> um, Horizon and American Saga, Chapter One. You and I are standing guard in one of the last great open spaces. These people think that if they're tough enough, smart enough, and mean enough, all this will be there someday. There's no army of this earth that's going to stop those wagons coming, little as they're wanted. get as many of us as I can, as far as I can. I'd just like to have a drink tonight with someone that knows how to act. You're not taking the full measure of this, Mary. I know the man I met was on his way to kill everyone in that house. He might as well have been walking up to get the mail for all that bothered him. What you build, they will burn down. that much this year haven't had much need of it yet <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a bad man right here i gotta google this all right <laughs> i gotta google this, is, this. google it um, Ry- google horizon it. Horizon. 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 Okay, this is go the ahead. Kevin Costner self funded oh! Western epic. Um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's probably like four hours long. And um, it's two parter. It's two parts. Best your and whole summer. I'm betting um, on chapter one because I don't think it's going to be very good. And I don't think people will go back to see chapter two, but. I think there's a whole section of the company or country that will just be, well, it's a Kevin Costner cowboy movie and yep. he made dances with wolves and, and he made Yellowstone. 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 And right. uh, how, I, how could I be a man if I don't go see this movie? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel I, like. I, I that sounds believe, like the sound of freedom. <laughs> I, I want to believe that demographic still exists, but I also yeah, feel I was like just they say, have given up. Is on entertainment yeah. <laughs> they, they, they don't want to support hollywood elsewhere so i yeah. i don't know if even kevin costner in a cowboy hat could get them to a theater i yeah. i just i don't know it, again this summer is top two turvy this could be a huge blockbuster but 
I, I couldn't put it on my list. I remember I thinking the same thing, and then Sound of Freedom happened, and that yeah, whatever happened with That's, it yeah last year, and I was just like, okay, this is you know, well, Cliff. I when originally I heard this was coming out, I was like, actually, my first instinct was it was going to be huge. And then I've slowly backed off and backed off of that, like realizing Westerns do not do that great. But I could see it still, like you're saying, I could see it blowing up. People, I mean, I could, it might, and of course the first one's going to do better than the second, like anything right. else. But right. I, I really, I mean, I'm excited to see it. I liked, I watched the trailer once mm-hmm. a couple months ago. I don't want to see any more. I just want to watch the movie. But I, I mean, I remember thinking it looked pretty good. I like Western, Western. So, I I'm not in the demographic you're talking about, <laughs> but I am excited to see a western, and I like Kevin Costner as a cowboy, so I'll definitely be watching this, and I hope it does good. I I had a question. I don't think I threw it to you guys when I posted this because now that I you guys are talking about, it, I remember. Well, wait a second, a two part movie in one summer has this ever been done before? In the same summer. In the same summer, yeah, because I I doubt think, it. I can't think of anything, but yeah, but I, I feel like I this is the only shot they have with it. Like in the that, same season, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, we've had movies, of course, that have different parts that come out six months or whatever. With it, but, yeah, with right, but, but not not this close. No, a month apart, it's crazy. That's a that's an interesting adventure right there. But yeah. it's his money. Yeah, so he can yeah. do what he wants. Yeah, I think he spent fit. It was only. They spent fifty million total, I think. It's not a huge budget. You know, so But I mean you watch the trailer. Make out big time. Yeah, you what you could. Uh, you watch the trailer and it like the trailer looks beautiful. I mean the landscapes yeah. and, and right. <clears throat> so the old West Field, but yeah, it's a it's a movie. My dad doesn't go to really go to the theater anymore. He doesn't watch movies, you know, out anymore. Um, but this is a movie where if he said, "Hey, I want to go see this movie. This is the one," um, I mm-hmm. would totally believe it. You know, be like, "Yep, this is right up your alley." I'm there. All right, number eight, Jordan. Eight. That is where I slotted Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I'm still. I know why I like these movies. I'm still not quite sure how they that last trilogy became the blockbusters that it did. No idea. Um, it's, it's you know, Matt Reeves is a really good director. It made those the last two, so it was action packed with special effects that were out of this world. Just great motion capture work, but it had some depth to it. It had some emotion. It had some you know these end of the world struggles. That uh, uh, this apocalyptic event, and uh, but it boiled down to the small family unit, and how do we survive, and all this stuff. Again, this is a start of a new chapter of this, but all those other ones made a ton of money. So there's people out there who like these ape spectacles, these dirty so apes. These, these, yeah. So let's let's see. I again, I'm a little it's a little weird about anybody picked it higher than I did, but. Yeah, I got. I'm going on Monday to see it, so I'm I'm hyped. Yep. See, oh, oh, oh. now who's smarting, smarting than the average ape? <laughs> I have it. I can't believe I have it at four, but I have it at four. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I love that pick, Jordan. A little low. Uh, I went with. You're number four, Furiosa. I have it at eight. I uh, I don't know <laughs> what to make of it. I uh, I it's going to be a spectacle. I definitely it's a definitely a theater movie. Like like you said, I think that is going to draw people. You know, they want they kind of know what they're getting this time. And Fury Road did good when they didn't know exactly what they were getting. So uh, you know, it's got a little. You know, a little more star power, maybe. I, um, I'm excited about. I personally am excited about it. Um, so, and, and the reviews in the last couple of days are starting to come in, and people are like, "He did it again!" I can't believe, you know, he did it again. So, 
hopefully that word gets out and it and it does really well i you know I, again again i'm still i can't get over how people did not go see the fall guy so so all of these <laughs> movies are in question at this yeah. point. right um, right dude uh so but i i hope it does good i'm furious at eight what what say you jesse this gets wild here guys it we're <laughs> It's wild from here on out. <laughs> I have got news for you. Oh. Nuts, so You want to get nuts. Mm. Listen to Jesse. Tell in us in <laughs> the words of the famous Frank Sinatra, regrets, <laughs> I've had a few. <laughs> and yeah, okay. I may end up regretting this one. Pretty it's not even long. this one. It's the rest of them. The rest of them? <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. No, no. Well, there is a couple absences. All from right, my list. just yeah, just we'll saying. There. There's All a couple right. absences from my list that I'm sitting here going, "Oh my gosh, why wasn't I thinking this?" Okay, but we have Scarlett Johansson as Kelly Jones, Channing Tatum as Cole Davis. The premise of the movie. During the 1960s space race between the United States and the Soviet Union, a relationship develops between the NASA director in charge of the Apollo 11 launch and the marketing specialist brought in to fix NASA's public image and stage a backup fake moon landing. That's right. Fly me to the moon. Hey, Joe. Hey, Nicole. Miss... You're on fire. It's very original. No, I do not want to stop, drop, and roll with you. No, your book is on fire. <gasps> oh, my God. Alcohol and flames. They like each other. <laughs> Cold days. Kelly Jones. Public support for the moon mission is rock bottom. Every day, something is breaking. And we're dead. Again. Yeah, we're blowing up. The space program is a bloated mess. NASA needs a marketing specialist, and you are the very best. Excuse me? What are you doing? I tracked you down because I felt we had a connection. What? I'm joking. I work here now to sell the moon. NASA's not something that you sell with a jingle and a slogan. When I'm done, those men are going to be bigger than the Beatles. Who is that? For me, this is very personal. He's got my name. You told me that your guys don't do interviews, so I had to hire new guys. I'm here for the casting. Who's he? You. You're a juicy part. 60 missions in Korea. I flew 52 missions in Korea. I flew 52 missions in Korea. How's that? What? The whole world will be watching. We can't afford to lose to the Russians. We need to shoot. Back up version of the moon landing you mean to fake it no one can ever know what we're doing i cannot accept that they will shoot you what is my budget oh boy. i know a lot more about the moon than i know about you give me go no go for launch if you fake this mission every single thing that we have sacrificed will have been for nothing you know you couldn't have made it to this day without me. Four, three, two, one, and... My Armstrong is a whiny little bitch. We have to recast. I think we should have gotten Cooper. Number. <laughs> oh, in a world. <laughs> Jesse, I think it is, as a matter of fact, I I love this pick. All right, good, good. I bet you do because you're hoping it fails bad. No, no, <laughs> no. It... I had it. Um, yeah. Uh, I I think I think he's is... the only other one that's got it anywhere. In okay, this, all right. If it's this on could, your list, yeah, this could be something here. Um, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, I I I really like the trailer and. You know, romantic comedies or or yeah. Uh, th- there's an there's an audience there for that, and they yeah, used to few, make money. You're right. Few and <laughs> few and far be- few and far between Come in the summer. Back. You don't get a lot of rom coms, so this may this may stand be the out. one. 
This might Romantic be the one. comedy starring yeah. likable movie stars. Yeah. That used to be a formula yeah. that made money. Like that Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum. They used to draw crowds. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. He used to, you know, used to, he was in a movie. <laughs> dog. He was in Dog. Uh, <laughs> he was in a movie as a dog. He, oh, yeah, that's true. The, the, oh, fly me to the moon. Fly oh, me to the Jesse, moon. Oh, Jesse, if you win again, and this is why, wow. You should make us watch something bad. Um, Cliff, you're number eight. My number eight, this is where I went with Borderlands. Um, had it up and down, didn't know where to put it, but I, I, I feel like they're is something there um obviously it's a it's a franchise video game franchise that's been around for quite quite some time i don't know anything about it really um it's got a robot that's voiced by jack Black, trap and Black um trap. that that looked fun uh we watched the trailer uh the other night and uh carly told me um jordan to, uh this has real guardians of the galaxy vibes and I said, yeah, I can, I can see that. Um, Ariana Greenblatt, you know, Tiny Tina, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Carly. Also I mean, if you know the games, I'm excited to see it. I, I don't, it doesn't look great to me, but I, I but I like, I love, you know, the Borderlands games. Yes, like I used great, to, great man, the openings for those games were just yeah. freaking, oh gosh. Now, I download those songs. I have those songs on my phone that I still listen to just to get that feeling from playing those games you know, so if you know the games, you're gonna go see this movie. You know? Yeah. Now, now the the problem, the fear I have at this point is Fallout was just on Amazon was just so amazing that I feel like there's a possibility this will either ride the coattails or it will be completely ignored because everybody loves Fallout and they're like, nope, we don't want that. We want this. So I think there's enough time there in between. <clears throat> I don't even have it on my list. So if you guys pull something out with Borderlands and and I did not, I just don't, don't know. I just don't well, know about that. The summer, we'll it, it, could, it could be Borderlands versus Garfield this summer. Oh my goodness! Winner takes yeah, well, all. Let's say, let's <laughs> let's. Well, yeah, that's a let's what we call it. That's even wilder name than some of Garfield. Garfield versus Borderlands. Winner take colon. Winner take all. The new Barben, the new Barbenheimer. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, somebody come up with that freaking name. Garterlands. <laughs> Gar Garland. Borderfields. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Borderfields. <laughs> we, did we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Borderfields. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. What was that? Okay. Uh Jordan, right? Yes. Number nine. We got nine. Number nine is where I put the fall guy. I initially didn't have this in the top 10 and then I realized I needed 10 movies. So I didn't. <laughs> what an endorsement. <laughs> I wasn't high on it. I'm not saying this with any hindsight. Like, you know, I was not high on this movie and I thought, I just don't see it. But then Ryan Gosling, everything he's done this summer has went viral. The Oscars performance, Saturday night live. He's everywhere. And people aren't sick of him yet so i thought okay if they're if people want more kin kinergy they're gonna go see the fall guy so i i i slotted in at, at least at nine giving it that you know that, that he would draw in all these extra eyeballs so you win some you lose some yeah 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 he's pretty good in it uh go see the fall guy <laughs> I, uh, please, number nine <laughs> at number nine I went with twisters this is where I have twisters I I ended up with it lower than I thought I was going to because I could totally see this being some this could totally be the thing that blows up you know I don't know but I just think it's going to if, if it gets enough buzz and people are looking for something to do that weekend could be twisters. Uh, 
this is my most exciting, uh, most anticipated announcement. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesse, okay. what do you got at number nine? I've got to Google my own pick. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Zachary Levi, correct? Anybody ever heard? I have no idea. Je- uh, Jesse, I will Did say you, that. I will say that. Don't say that George. Jordan put this on his list last year. Last year. It was a dark horse last year. <laughs> was it a dark horse? Yeah. Yes. It was on his list as a dark oh, horse. Oh, I do not remember this. So and yeah. I was going I was going to carry it over just to perpetuate the joke, but I I take this too seriously. I'm like, yeah. I don't think yeah. it was- <laughs> he doesn't want to have to watch another another one of your movies. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Zachary Levi. Gonna... Oh. Harold in the Purple Crown. <laughs> Crayon. 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 (laughs) When someone tells a story, they create an entire world. And usually, the characters stay there. But there are legends of characters so real. With the crayon, anything is possible. That they step right into this world. Let's see how this baby works in the real world. Whoa. Creative and terrifying. That's terror. That's terrifying. Do you know what brought you to life? It's what your crayon is made of. The most mysterious, powerful, extraordinary stuff on earth. Wax. Pure imagination. Okay, I am getting really good at this. What were you thinking? Oh, no, honestly, I, I don't do a lot of thinking. True. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, have you guys seen the trailer for this thing yet? No. Oh, my goodness. Watch the trailer. You're going to be just in ready to go to the theater. What right is now. it? What is it? Well, it's he, it, he draws with the purple crayon, just like the yeah. book. Yeah, I don't know. He draws. Is he this draws... like Simon? Simon. Um, Where do you know my name is Simon. Is yeah. Simon. I like to do drawings. Yeah. And I like to do drawings. I like to draw all day long. So come and do drawings with me. Come and do drawings with me. I know, I know like that. <laughs> I'm out. I don't know that one. Uh, oh, that's uh, from our uh, youth. Don't, yes, don't, don't worry. I'll put, put the audio up. in here. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it? It, it, this is a family film. Um, clearly, oh. you know, the kid has a magical purple crayon and he can draw things. Oh, like Bill Crosby. Picture pages, picture pages. It's time to get your picture pages, time to get your crayons and your pencils. Picture pages, picture pages, open up your picture pages. Time to watch Bill Cosby do a picture page with you. Oh, picture yes. page, picture page. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the sound of me? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, <laughs> put that audio in there, Cliff. I would <laughs> respect you, all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's drawing these neat things and they come to life out in the real world. And apparently there's some magical misadventures these people go on. So um, it, releasing August 2nd. Mm. Uh, yeah. So there I you love go. it. Number, I couldn't wait. What did I say? So well, did, that you was number have, eight? did you have imaginary friends on your list? No. So he he leaves Harold... out imaginary friends when he thinks Harold's going to. 
Here, yeah. I'm going to pull it back. Let's, well, I love it. There's. That's why I put it on my list last year. I thought it's a it's a book everyone's read. You know, it's yeah. the books from the fifties. You know, most mm. kids have are familiar with it. It's a but you know, it's a fun idea. You know, kids using their imagination. Like I thought it could be a dark horse. So who knows? I can't wait to see who puts it on their list next year. Yeah, <laughs> Jordan, Jesse has a movie on here I've never even heard of. Uh-huh. So I can't wait. Um, Cliff. What's your number nine? <laughs> number nine. Uh, this is where I put Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. I have not seen uh, the previous one, but um, I know well, this it was is a, big, a prequel. I know. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. I, I saw the trailer for this one. Um, I totally agree. It is a movie to be watched in a theater, I think. And um, it, it was a big, <laughs> a, a big hit. Uh, it, it's got, um, Hemsworth in a fake nose prosthetic. Yeah. Nose. I'm excited about that. I gets, he gets to play the villain. Yep. So I, I sure. Why not? Number nine. I love it. Okay. We're at our number 10. If you get this one right on the nose, 13 points. So you better nail it. What is the perfect number 10 pick Jordan? My number 10 pick was Bad Boys, Bad Boys, Ride or Die. I honestly didn't, wasn't sure anyone else would even, would even pick this. I, I thought maybe I'd have it the highest, but I, I slotted it in right squeaking into the top 10. Well, that deserves a slap across the face. It's too low. <laughs> uh, I think the perfect Keep my number... movie's name out your mouth. Let's get. <laughs> we need to be boisterous. Let's be a little boisterous here. We need to have something to laugh at ourselves later. I say that we're going to nail it perfectly at number ten with Horizon Part One, an American Saga. Mm. It's going to be westerns. Number ten, Jesse. What's your number ten? Can't uh... wait all the time. No, that's the crow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the crow. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person? <laughs> you feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. <laughs> I shouldn't have seen any of it. Hey! Julie! Julie! Uh, please don't do this! When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. What you become. You know that love promises only pain. You 
no idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. So, I watched the trailer for this thing. If there is a spot for ultra violence in this summer, it's number 10. Double. <laughs> that Deadpool and Wolverine clearly are going to fill a little bit of that void in your, you know, chaotic heart. If you love violence, but the crow is going to be right there too. Um, mm. I mean, fans of the uh, fans of that franchise, I don't think are going to be let down. Who do we got? Who was the star? Of the, who was the star of the crow here? Um, my goodness, uh, the guy uh, who played the new one. Yeah, the new one. What yeah. the the guy that played it? Isn't it? it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Card. yeah. 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 And them. I was worried. I was worried they weren't going to pull it off in the trailer, uh, and he did fine. I think this is going to be. <laughs> well, I mean, fine. he did fine. Fine. He, <laughs> he did, did fine. Fine. Now that sounds like ten energy to me. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> I think you'll. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, what what like... cr- number crow is this? Which what? This would be number five. I know there's. It might be four. I'm, I'm a big sure fan of the great. first one. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I when the first one came out, like in '94, it's one of the greatest soundtracks. Of all the movies. soundtrack. Like, I I love. I just loved the heck out of this movie at the time. I mean, it doesn't it it doesn't hold up like it did then, but I still love the movie just nostalgically. I've never watched any of the sequels or have any care to, but I I just love the vibe of the original. And there was a TV show for a little bit too. I don't know if you remember that. Stairway to Heaven. So. There was. It was there. I believe you. You watched different um, channels than that. Yeah, I'm feeling like <laughs> Jess and I don't have a lot of overlap as our friends on social media because the day that trailer launched, I heard nothing but negative, like, oh, this is awful. This is, you know, this is, you know, Brandon Lee's spinning his grave. This is an insult to the crow. This is a horrible an insult like, to the crow. Yes. People were like, <laughs> People were way down on this trailer, so I like I I wouldn't have any confidence in this. Wow, like, you know, oh that, and that's gosh. the fan base. You know, the, the the comic people should be the fan base. It's it's aiming for. No, that's why I didn't have it at number one. I had to. Move I heard down Sting number isn't even going to watch this movie. Oh, look out! That's a <laughs> wrestling reference right there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. We always break that out when you're here. Oh, okay. Cliff, what's your number 10? What is nailing it at number 10? Oh, man. Every few generations, Hollywood gives us a movie. <laughs> that's, that's the energy um, I'm looking for. About a twister. <laughs> that says it's going to be the 10th best movie of the summer. God The says... Wizard of Oz. <laughs> twister. Uh, yeah. Sharknado. Twisters. Yeah. Sharknado, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number what 10. More do you want? I mean, just write it pen. down right now. Book Slotting it. it in. Read, wrote it in pen. Okay, now that we've put our 10 picks in order, it's just in case we get one wrong. <laughs> just so, Somebody might. Uh, we each had three extra picks that we, each of you could just when, when it's your turn, just name all three. Uh, what are the three dark horses that you picked to uh, maybe catch a point for? If one of these movies that was in your top ten happens to end up in the top ten, you will at least get a point for it. So, Jordan, what are your three wild card dark horses? Uh, my wild cards, this is where I put A Quiet Place. I just, I don't think it's going to be a blockbuster, but I think it could do enough to get close, so that's where I, I couldn't quite put it in the top ten, so this is where I put it. Uh, it's also where I put Borderlands. It's just too much of a coin toss for me to, to give it a, a full spot in the top ten, but like you said, if, if it catches that Guardians of the Galaxy vibe, you said like, it it could draw more than just you know video game people. If, it, if they do it well, I could see it being huge. 
but I think it's just a big gamble. So this is where I put. This is where I put Barbie last year. So <laughs> here's where here's where I'm at. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be it. the biggest movie this summer. I don't know. <laughs> and I also put the bike riders here, which probably would not have been on my radar, but the trailer for it played before Civil War when I saw it. And when that trailer ended, people were like, "Oh wow!" Oh, yeah. Like I just heard a rumbling in the crowd of people like that looked really cool. And I just felt like it looks like a cool action movie with tough guys yeah. that dudes like to watch. And it's a bunch of handsome men who are troubled and need to be saved. That you know, and there's some romance involved. And in you're that, just that the guy. We're we're we're, we're gonna go save them. We're gonna yes. Go. So it's it's a cross. <laughs> I think young people will watch it. Old people will watch it. That's the challengers piece. part of it. Men and women. <laughs> I think guys. it's it's a good, fun, sexy time on bikes. Oh. I think it could be big. It's gonna be better than twenty million. It's gonna break oh. that director's record. So I squeezed I it into it. the the wild card. Good quality picks that have a chance. I went with if this is where I have the imaginary friend thing. Uh, so at least I'll get a point for it if it. Ends up in that top ten, like which it likely could. Uh, my second one is the, my most anticipated movie of the summer. The one I personally am most excited for is a big fan of this director and an incredible trailer. I loved it. It is M Night Shyamalan's Trap. Uh, I can't wait for that movie. And number three is where uh, the obvious Harold and the Purple Crayon. No, I'm not an idiot. I went with Garfield because it's it's Garfield time. It's, I want to at least get a point out of that movie that I probably should have had higher. Come on. Swerve. Don't be stupid. Let's see. Jesse. Gosh, I wish we could end with Jesse. Uh, just, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm only bad. kidding. That no, bad. no, no. I like two of your picks. One of them okay. I've never heard of. All right. Just, let's All attack right. the guy who won last year. The only guy uh, no, that's right exactly now. that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. Uh, my com- my confidence is really waned. Save that. Lo- save the one this. I've never heard of. Save the one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, Dark Horse number one uh, is Alien Romulus. I so, almost put this as a dark horse. Yeah. This people like alien movies, right? I don't know if if you had a chance to watch the trailer or the teaser or whatever. I'm not there. watching it. Not it's watching. Very. It's. Uh, I've really got a sense of horror vibes here. Mm. Clearly with the alien franchise, that's what you're kind of shooting for. A lot of times the guy that uh, wrote the story for Texas chainsaw massacre from 2022 is behind this. Uh, Have you ever watched the don't breathe famous guy who, what his, his name is don't breathe. Uh, Don't breathe. Oh yeah. yeah, Don't breathe. Uh, breathe. um, And then he did that. He wrote the 2013 evil dead. And that is, uh, I'm going to go with Fede Alvarez. Uh, I don't know if you've ever okay. heard of his name, but anyway, nope. you clearly can see like those, uh, his hand in those films is kind of translating over into this, into this alien Romulus. So that's dark horse. Number one, like dark, dark horse. Number two is uh, the trap. I'll just read from the IMDb. A father and his teen daughter attend a pop concert only to realize they've entered the center of a dark and sinister event. Yes, an M. It's Night... a great trailer. Great yes, trip. yes, it is. Um, M. Night Shyamalan. So I'll bank on that. And stop me if you've heard this one. I haven't. Channing Tatum in Bald a film <laughs> called Blink Twice. Blink twice. Uh, <laughs> directed by Zoe Kravitz. I know that's a name we've been hearing a little bit here lately. Yeah, this trailer um, was wild, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's it's definitely yeah, you, you, one of those psychological thrillers. When's this come be, out? August twenty third. All right, good. I'm glad because I I was like, I uh, seriously, all I thought was when you said that, I was like, oh shit, this is going to be the thing that I'm going to hate myself listening to this later. <laughs> that this is going to win the whole thing or something, but. I was like, please tell me it doesn't it's come really out. Like it's really late. <laughs> right. It's really late. Uh, when tech billionaire Slater King meets cocktail waitress Frida at his fundraising gala, he invites her to join him and his friends on a dream vacation on his private island. As strange things start to happen, Frida questions her reality. So, oh. Channing Tatum. Oh, wait. I did see a 
trailer for this. Yeah, not we watched it. Yeah, that was like weird. Yeah. Okay. There you okay. go. There's the three okay. dark horses. Could happen. Could happen. Cliff. Could <laughs> I struggled with this. Um, <laughs> I really struggled with this because I you made told more... us at the beginning that you yeah. abandoned your plan. So what would you end up yeah, with? Well, I mean, let's talk about the movies that that I ended up not putting on on the dark mm. horse list. Um, Blink twice. Feeling mm. feeling yeah. kind of sketch about that now because Jesse has picked it, and I feel like I I, I really missed. I'm going to miss the boat on that. No, I don't uh, think, so. I don't, I think yeah. you're going to be fine. <laughs> I think it'll um, be real fun. <laughs> uh, Planet of the Apes. And... Oh, that's a that's a, that may be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Strangers. Uh, mm. Produced and starring Strangers, Cheryl uh, Blossom. Mm. Um, Cheryl Blossom. She's gonna break that Riverdale curse. I'm thing. telling uh, you. And uh, and I believe an A24 movie uh, called I Saw the TV Glow um, that looks insane. Yeah, I, oh, 100% I'm seeing this movie. I just don't think it's going to make a bunch of money. Yeah. But so, I can't wait to see it. It's so my movie, but I, I can't. Yeah, which is why I, I ended up in. taking it off my list. And I settled yeah. down with A Quiet Place day one um, going with my don't at least get something on there that's going to make some money. Um, fly me to the moon, Jesse. I totally agree. Like we said, uh, Channing, Channing Tatum and, uh, and the Black box Widow. office gold. So yeah, <laughs> box office gold. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> Don't argue with me. <laughs> the, uh, the last one I have is Maxine. Oh, Which Max a, triple X scene. Yeah. <laughs> Max X X scene. <laughs> Go, uh, probably great. What? Won't make any How money. How is that on your radar? Yeah. That's I, I not watch, a Cliff movie. I watched. He watched trailers, trailers with my daughter, <laughs> and she yeah. went yes uh, and knew all about it. And I was like, that, "Oh, okay." Sure, yeah, I was going to say that. That's a part it's of a franchise, it. it's, right? It's, like, the that's the third, third one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the yeah. first two didn't make any money, but we're gonna. <laughs> yeah, well, number gonna three look. coming in. But yeah, he's totally he. I want to. I want to point out. uh uh, Cliff does not have Planet of the Apes. He does not have Bad Boys. He does not have Garfield. Uh, he he's got quite. So if you want to keep talking about the ones you did not put, <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, I, I, I his flag. He, he I, knows where he is. I'm uh-huh. almost like in competition for what I left off of my list with you, Cliff, because there's quite a, some of the ones that Cliff or that uh, Seth just r- r- rattled off was uh definitely not on my list either and i don't know why i'm all in on the bike riders baby so, well, who, bike rider summer the, what did the i expected you wait to honestly we should have had a fifth player you know, had jesse just ask his ai friend or whoever mm-hmm. uh to do one but uh we should have got a jeffy list yeah <laughs> jeffy. <laughs> jeffy should Jeff, have jeffy starter Ah, uh, he lives. He li- He lives. Ha ha ha! No more laughing. He lives. Anyway, I I think we have enough different stuff that it's gonna be crazy. Like who knows? And after the first weekend, just bombing. Like I have no idea what to make of any. Yeah, of I'm this. not pointing at anybody and saying, "Wow, no. you did a terrible." Oh, list. Like, oh no, I am. No. I I just lo- I just love. <laughs> I wanted to play back later. We we've got to. <laughs> Make fools of ourselves, you know, <laughs> to make oh, the next thing. Because I, I don't see anything that's obvious. There's a couple we yeah. can kind of assume, but I yeah, if anything, if last year I taught us anything. I, mean, yeah, I feel like I, mm, I kind of tried to. I was like, all right, what what can I find that's going to be that movie? And I found the uh, that Angel Studios has another movie this summer, the same as the Sound of Freedom. And I thought, ooh. That could be a oh, sneaky one you don't know oh, about. No. Wow. So I looked it up to see what it was, and it is called Sight. It is an inspiring story about uh, a, a, like a doctor who performs surgeries like give people their, their eyesight back. And I thought, there we go. That'll be like a good, you know, feel good family yeah. drama yeah. that people will get behind. But then I thought, 
there's nobody that's versus. Yeah, the, there's nobody they're going to rub their face right. in it. Of like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I thought you were too... going to tell me it was like they take the eye, they <laughs> they they change people, they put transgender back to who they were originally. <laughs> yeah, so there's no sport to it. It's just a good feel good movie, warm hearted movie, and no one wants to see that. So no. I thought no. since there's since there's no. That was good. That was inspired, though, to to look there. Yeah, you should have won for just trying that. That's good. (laughs) Oh, well, Hmm. I'm excited to see the summer of border fields. Oh boy. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I don't have Borderlands on there at all. Like, and I'm glad. Hopefully, I'll get a point for Garfield. But I think that Jordan had the right idea. I think Garfield's going to do better than I thought. I think we're going to, every movie, we're going to say like, man, I didn't make as much money as I thought, but yeah. they're all going to do that. So don't, don't get too upset yeah. on any of them. Cause I think they're all going to do bad. I, I really felt like there was something special last summer with, with the movies that were, that were coming out. Yeah. yeah we had, it, it had been years we were waiting on a big summer blockbuster of, you know, hit after hit after hit. And they were just lined up so perfectly for us. And, mm. uh, I told uh, you it was, it yeah. was an odd summer last year. Yeah, I, I just don't see it this year. Just saying that. Cause you actually went to the theater. You, That's yeah. true. That's true. Oh yeah. We got him all signed up. I'm signing up again this year. Like you're going to do June. Still, I'm seeing, I'm seeing enough of these that it's <laughs> definitely cost effective for me to sign up. For the summer because heck a tickets you know 15 bucks although i'm yeah. i'm worried how these ticket sales transfer because i bought these tickets for apes i'm like i gotta i got it at number four i gotta go see this and it ended up only i got two tickets and it was like didn't cost me much of anything tickets were like six bucks or something tomorrow so I, yeah. m- maybe tomorrow is a special day or something hmm. so if you want to go see apes tomorrow it's six dollars <laughs> Hmm. All right, we did it. I and think that's we it. We will revisit this come Post September. Labor Day. When we will not all, be wearing white. This is all in the rearview mirror, and we will see how big of fools we all are. Whoever who has the most victorious. points will get to pick a movie to force oh, yes. us all to watch, um, which worked out great for all of us last year. So, uh I'm sure I, if I win, I'll pick something time travely. I'm sure, also. And uh, so Cliff will be a uh, Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, it'll be kind of Gutenbergy. <laughs> Gutenbergy. <laughs> Mine's gonna have subtitles. Oh, mine, de- mine definitely will too. Mine will be time travel with we'll subtitles. Say, I won't hate those. That, that won't be too bad. Yeah. All right, All right, Mr. Jesse Starcher, the Look OJ. Thank you for joining us. Guys, Give it's the been people what they want. Yeah, thank you very much for having me back on, guys. I appreciate it. Always fun. I miss talking with you guys. Love listening to your shows all the time. So, uh, yeah, for myself, if anybody would like to check out uh, what I do, I do some stuff over on the Radlich in Broadcasting Network, actually the W2Mnet.com, where you can find Mark Radlich hanging out over there with me every once in a while. But uh, yeah, if you can find that, you should be able to find the Source Material Comics feed, where we have all sorts of fun stuff on there. We have three main shows that usually are showing up right now, and that is Source Material, which is uh, essentially a book club for comics. And then we have Unspoken Issues, which is mainly 90s comics-centric episodes. And then also you can listen to me and Evan Bevins discuss Marvel Snap, the mobile card game. And if you're into playing Marvel Snap, we, uh, we do a podcast about once a month on it. And we kind of break down what happened in the previous season, the upcoming season. We have live battles. And as a matter of fact, he and I just streamed our most recent uh, battle. I think it was last night or the night before. And it was a lot of fun. And it worked out really well. We had a good time. And you can see, you know, us uh, jaw back and forth at each other. And my uh, knee, knee jerk reactions to some of the stuff that he does. Uh, and and unfortunately beats me a couple of times. But uh uh, you can check that out on the source material. It's I think it's hashtag source material on YouTube. Uh, should be able to find the 
live uh, streams over there right now. So that's it. Thanks again, guys, for having me on here. I appreciate it. Yeah, Unspoken Decades is like blowing up on Facebook. Every post I see has lots of reactions. And then you post, hey, we've also got a podcast. I'm like, a what? <laughs> there was a guy that's, I mean, he's like, I've, I didn't know, I can't never find your podcast. I'm like, well, that's because we're buried under three other things. But I didn't say that. I said, well, here's the link and here's a playlist. Please go to town. Hmm. Um, so yeah. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. We love movies here at KPP. We love talking about them, so we'll probably do it more. My name is Jordan Lowe. Hey, today's my wife's birthday. So happy birthday, Alicia. Cliff Happy Barnes. birthday. Uh, my nephew struck out a handshake maker for her birthday today. Hmm. Was so that a CH go. or a K? I have no idea. But matters. I thought, hey, hey, from Frontier. <laughs> oh, that was with the K. That's the other bunch. Uh, uh-oh. We don't uh-oh. talk to them. <laughs> not, not invited to the reunion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm Seth. <laughs> Okay, uh, bye forever. He's the champ in the game, always on top, picking hits after hits. Can't make him stop, he knows how to pick, he knows how to win. Every movie he's making makes money in the end. This year is no different, get ready for the show. Jesse's in the house, he's ready to go. With movie picking knowledge, he steals the scene. Gonna win again, you know what I mean. He's the box office champ, the winner of the game. Movies making millions, living the dream. Life's camera of action, he's the shining star. Jesse, the champ. For some reason, I had it in my head. You did. That's why. I, I thought it was. I thought it was TikTok that had some kind of a limit to where you couldn't go live unless you had so many followers. Probably. I don't fucking know. I don't. Yeah, well, TikTok's not going to be around much longer, anyways. You know. Right. They right. That's right. Tear apart Chinese. everything I love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, when they come for those you love. That's right. <laughs> hmm. It's tough. All right. <laughs> um, be running to Canada. <sighs> running to Canada. He's gonna move to Canada because he can't do your stick. <laughs> that is. That is. Wow. Be like. Uh, what generation uh, are you? Oh, what, what? what? What the hell was that show? Uh, fuck. Handmaid's Tale. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what this is. Yeah. It's a just TikTok, like the handmaid. It, it is just like the handmaid. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> They're trying to control you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is it. This is it. It's Wouldn't that be life. something? Like if there was this mm. mass exodus of people that went to Canada and nobody just could kids. figure out why. And then just they kids. realize, oh, shoot, it's because of TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was the one that did it. It's all the kids and Cliff. You're like the Moses. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Follow me, my children. Yes. Uh. (laughs) Kapow! The Pop Cultured Podcast is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Sounds, music, and clips played during the podcast are property of copyright holders. All original content is property of www.udownwithkpp.com. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and leave a comment. Kapow! The Pop Cultured Podcast can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, and wherever podcasts can be found. You can connect with us through social media on Facebook, YouTube, at The Kapow Podcast on Twitter, or email the show Kapow, the Pop Culture Podcast at gmail.com. If you really want to go the extra mile, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash KPP for special content and access to Patreon-only benefits. 
We are grateful for anyone who chooses to contribute, but please know that most of our content will remain free. So please continue to like, comment, and share.